सो अलकुम स्कॉलर्स आई होप आप सब ईद uh, के लिए एक्साइटेड है और मुझे इस चीज की ये अवेयरनेस भी है कि अभी आप बहुत ज्यादा इस इस सेशन के बाद काम में बिजी होने वाले हैं सो वी वो डिस्टर्ब यू एटलीस्ट आने वाले तीन दिन तक उसके बाद डेफिनेटली विल गेट बैक टू सेशंस सबसे पहली चीज वी हैव विद अस महमूद रशीद टाक साहब मैं थोड़ा सा पर्सनल पार्ट थोड़ा बाद में बताऊंगा फर्स्टली आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस हिम ही इज अ सीनियर एडिटर ग्रेटर कश्मीर he edits edits opinion pages of newspaper and is a regular columnist un uh, you know academic background unka jo hai peace and conflict studies mein raha hai unka association kareeban kareeban 20 saal ka hai journalism ke sath as a conflict practitioner he has been a resource person and mentor on conflict transformation workshops and conflict and disaster preparedness workshops has he has also conducted research on conflict themes uh, apart from that i have uh, i think i would definitely like to tell you all jaise maine bataya ki aap sab mere sath workshops karte hai but maine jo mahmood sir hai inke sath bahut sare workshops kiye mere mentor rahe hain 2007 8 6 saal se jab main aap logo ki umar ka tha main bhi aap se chhota tha tha तो उस टाइम से मेरी एक एसोसिएशन है इनसे इनसे बहुत चीजें मैंने सीखी और आज आप लोगों की हम सब की खुशकिस्मती है कि ये हमारे बीच है और आप सच में बता रहा हूँ कि बहुत सारी बातें सीखोगे जो आपकी रोजमर्रा की लाइफ में काम आएगी महमूद साहब बिफोर यू बिगिन मैं मेंशन करना चाहूँ हमारे साथ शेख खुर्शीद इस्लाम साहब भी है खुशी साहब वुड यू लाइक टू से एनीथिंग ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट फिर हम मूव ऑन करेंगे प्लीज अस्सलाम वालेकुम इंट्रोडक्शन क्या देनी है महमूद साहब इज अ ब्रदर इन फैक्ट आपकी भी आपकी सलाम वालेकुम आपकी सेशन जो है जितनी आपकी सेशन रही है हमारी उस उसका मल्टीप्लेयर थ्री कर लीजिए इट्स अ ऑनर इट्स अ ग्रेट ऑनर फॉर केआई कि दैट महमूद साहब हैज एग्रीड टू इंटरेक्ट विद अस एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच महमूद साहब मैं क्या कह सकता हूं आपके बारे में thank you it's always a pleasure even meeting him not to talk about listening to him allah thank bless you. definitely thank definitely you. Thank you. so uh, so without wasting a lot of time apne anse i think uh, scholars are very excited to hear from you to so, uh, mahmud bhai over to you so i would have i would request ki aap urdu aur english dono mein rakhi kashmiri mein kuch scholars hai jinko samajh nahi aati kashmiri karna warna se wo so urdu and english would be good so over to you mahmud okay uh, assalam alaikum everyone um, thank you uh, umar for this generous introduction uh, i think i didn't deserve this much and uh, thank you very much for these warm words from kurshid saab kurshid saab is like a, a family a brother a friend and many more things um, and it's my uh, pleasure that uh, i'm here talking to you and to uh, your scholars and those who have who you have mentored Uh, i really feel excited about it but i'll begin with a note of apology a note of apology for not being able to uh, talk to you have a conversation with you yesterday when it was scheduled uh, because i was little unwell yesterday but in any case uh, umar was not going to uh, you know uh, leave me without uh, having an interaction with you so i am here this is uh, the the beginning now um, i won't talk about myself uh, at the beginning because there isn't much to talk about actually uh, umar has talked already a lot about it i'll begin with a very small story that you might have heard um, definitely and uh, this story exists in all civilizations all cultures all uh, uh, you know thinking spaces uh, and stories uh, to begin with are actually civilizational lessons this is an accumulated knowledge and accumulated experience of mankind that's being transferred by way of story because story has a focus story makes it simplifies it and story warms up your hearts and it leaves enduring lessons on your hearts and minds the story is like this that a mother who needed some provisions for uh, cooking her meals sends uh, her son to the market and tells uh, uh, the son to get all the different things that were needed for the meals she waits uh, quite a lot an hour or two and then uh, half the day is over 
and the sun hasn't returned back till the evening. When the sun returns back late in the night, the mother surprisingly asks his son, uh, her son that why it was so that anything that it could take you 10 or 20 minutes for the uh, whole day you have been away from home and I can see that you haven't got anything from the market. The son replied in a very somber and a very serious way. You know, mother, what happened? While I was uh, going towards market, uh, I was crossing the bridge and a thought struck me. I looked downwards and the water was flowing down underneath. I stopped there and looked at the water for a while. Then I thought that there must be time when this water will stop flowing. Let me wait here and see when it stops flowing. An hour passed and there was no change, water still flowed. Then two, then three, and when I was tired, when the evening was passed and I was tired, I thought that no, this won't end here, I must return back. So that's why I couldn't go to the market and I could not fetch anything for you. The mother looked at her son with a mix of surprise, with a mix of surprise and shock and said that son, all your life will end, but the water will not stop flowing. The lesson in this for you, all students is that crises never end in anybody's life. It does not end in the life of human civilizations and nations and collectives. If this is one crisis, that is the pandemic right now, once it ends, you'll find that another will be coming close on the heels of this crisis, then another, then another. another. This life is actually a continuity of crises and every time you'll find yourself struggling and wrestling with one or the other crisis. So don't wait for this crisis to end and then you will begin working on your respective fields. Consider it as a very normal thing in your life. This is not the first time that it has struck mankind. This is not the first kind of crisis and first kind of uh, uh, you know, um, disruption in, in one's life. In, in the life of the collectivity or in the life of an individual, such things have happened and they will happen again. The lesson in this is that what have you done all the while? How have you utilized your time? Are you like that child, like that son of that mother who wasted all the day on the bridge looking at the water and waiting for the time when it will uh, stop flowing? Or you will go straight away to the market and get the things that you need for your meals to be cooked and come back. Water will, in any case, flow. It will not stop if you stop at the bridge. So don't stop, keep moving. This is an eternal lesson for uh, in all the crises that mankind faces. And now I'll move on. It is a string of stories. I'll, uh, you know, I'll put all the themes on this string one by one. You must have heard the name of a great scientist who is a living scientist and whose name is Michio Kaku. He is a Japanese scientist who lives in the United States, works there, and is a US citizen. He speaks about, he talks about his childhood days. And he says that he was eight. And when he went to the classroom, their teacher informed them that the greatest scientist of their times had died that day. And then the teacher started speaking, talking about that uh, scientist. And then Michio Kako says that I found a picture flashing in all the newspapers on that day. It was the picture of the desk of that scientist. There were books around in the background and there was an empty chair. And the caption read, the caption was, that this is the unfinished manuscript of the greatest work of the greatest scientist of our time. Now, Michio Kaka, as a child of eight, I believe uh, I can't see you. All of you are much older than eight. A thought strikes him and he says that I started thinking that what was it that he kept the work unfinished? Was it about homework? Why couldn't he, in a very simple way, he asked this question to himself, that why couldn't this greatest scientist of our times finish his homework? He should have taken help from somebody and finished the work. When he grew up, 
He says that I discovered later that the scientist was Albert Einstein and the work that he left unfinished was not an ordinary work. It was a great work and that was known as theory of everything. Those of you who have uh, uh, read physics or who are the students of physics or opted for that subject must be knowing what this theory of everything is, how complex it is, how complicated it is, and how challenging it is. It's also called as unified field theory. Now this question strikes an eight year old boy. He goes back home, talks to his mother and then to the teachers, and then goes on to work on this theory, unified field theory. And today, after maybe 50 or 60 years, he is the frontline scientist on unified field theory, whose books are now challenging the human mind. His works on space, on how the human, what is the future of humanity? What kind of uh, things this artificial intelligence will unfold before us is all because of that one question that struck him at the age of eight. He was not panicked that time by uh, or he was not overawed by that picture of the greatest scientist or the desk of that uh, greatest scientist. He made a sense of that picture to himself and started working on, working on it. And today the result is that we have another greatest, great scientist of our times and that is Michio Kaku. What is the lesson in that? If you're not going to waste your time thinking or looking at it that when the pandemic will end or when the crisis will end, and you will find out a question for yourself. The lesson is this, that if one picture could strike Michio Kako, there is an album that is in front of you that this pandemic has produced. Just collect the images, just collect the pictures, make an album of it, and then look at these pictures one by one, very carefully, and then select a question for yourself. What are these pictures? You know, it's no great science or no rocket science to understand what are these pictures. Everybody sees them. Everybody encounters these pictures. It is a routine matter. You have the pictures of shutdown in markets. Nobody walking on the streets. You have the pictures of deserted roads. You have the pictures of closed down schools. You have the pictures of chaotic hospitals where patients are, you know, struggling to find out a doctor who can treat them. You find people wailing there, crying there for their dear ones, and they're dying in, in such circumstances that one couldn't have imagined before. You have the pictures where you have dead bodies, they're taken for burial, and there are two, three, a couple of people that accompany them instead of a great number of people of relatives and friends. That was a usual scene. You find emotions getting choked. You find that hearts are filled with sorrow and grief. You have the pictures of a woman who travels hundreds of kilometers from her home place to the place where her son works and fetches her son on the scooty. You must have, uh, you know, that picture you must have seen in newspapers or on the TV screens. You have the pictures of the laborers dying on railway tracks, you know, trying to somehow get to their homes where they can have two, uh, uh, normal meals, where they can meet their families. But on their way home, they lose the battle of life. You have the pictures of politicians and the political leaders or the bureaucracy. They are also very clueless about what to do or what not to do. You have the pictures of the doctors in those you know, unusual gears, wearing masks, wearing gloves and hiding their faces, trying to find out somehow, can they treat a patient? Can they find out a vaccine? Can they find out some medicine that can treat a patient? You have you know, number of such pictures around the globe that can form that album of yours. What you need to do is that sit down, just flip through that album and select a picture for yourself. Maybe in future, if somebody sees, if, uh, if, if this picture strikes you that the laborers are dying on their way home, maybe somebody can study economy and find out a better model that can help these poor laborers. Maybe somebody turns out after going to some foreign university and turns back to his place and becomes a very good politician and a political leader who actually takes people along with him and finds some solutions to the problems that we are confronted with. Maybe somebody becomes a, you know, a world-class doctor who, who, who can give us a vaccine for the disease that will be known then. Maybe somebody becomes a huge entrepreneur who builds a hospital and you know, arranges for free uh, uh, treatment for the poor patients. 
maybe somebody becomes a very good teacher who has mastery over these modern gadgets and gives us beautiful, interesting, riveting online courses. Maybe somebody becomes a, 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 you know, a, a businessman and doesn't stop the salary of his, and gives us a model where he takes care of actually his employees. Maybe somebody becomes a bureaucrat and leaves a lesson for all the bureaucrats of this time that, look, this was the way to meet the crisis. This was the way to deal with, to handle these crises where you would not have made these people suffer. And at the same time, you could have controlled this pandemic. Maybe somebody becomes a huge you know, uh, a sports person and then knows how to raise funds for people. There are hundreds of things that you can do, provided you select the picture as Michio Kako selected for himself. You select a picture for yourself, and then what you do is sit down and make it a focus of your life. So the first thing is, I titled it as this, that this is the time when you can open up your minds. This is the time you don't close your eyes. This is not the time to shut your eyes. This is not the time to, to surrender. This is not the time to succumb. This is not the time to accept defeat. This is the time when individuals and nations rise. This is the time when people know what the courage is. This is the time when people look, uh, you know, uh, when, when good characters, geniuses, courageous people have risen to the occasion. What do you do then? then? First thing, open up your mind in a very calm way in a very considered way, in a very serious and meaningful way, and select a picture from the album. How do you select that picture? I come to the next part of my conversation with you. One is creating a mess. One is getting bogged down by the number of pictures. One is that you are frightened, actually, and you end up doing nothing. There is another way of doing it. And this way, an author, a linguist, a master in writing and a teacher of writing tells us. Her name is Annie Lamott. Annie Lamott wrote a, a book on this, which is titled as Bird by Bird. She narrates the story of her childhood. She says to her students in the classroom that 55 years, now she's an old lady, she says that 55 years back, my brother, who was in the fourth grade, was faced with a huge problem, huge uh, 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 because he was a fourth grade student and uh, uh, fourth graders find these problems very huge. He had to face an exam wherein he would, he would be asked about birds and maybe he had to show some assignments about the birds, but he hadn't prepared. Now the boy uh, in fourth grade was crying back at, at home. What should I do now? Because tomorrow my exams are scheduled and everybody was panicked his siblings. And then she says that my dad came to our rescue and he said that leave it to me, I'll make him do the work. And how, how, uh, how his dad uh, did it? He says, dad said, do it bird by bird. Take one bird at a time, draw the figure and get to understand it. Just after some time, he says, uh, Lamott says, that my brother started having a grasp over the subject because he could understand one bird after another, then another, then another. Finally, he was ready and very excited about the exam that he had to write next day. This lesson that bird by bird, you have to take it. That one picture after another picture in this album, you have to focus without creating a mess does wonders. But for that, you need to have a very calm mind. Don't open up your uh, books in a very haphazard manner. You know, you, you open up the uh, uh, box of your books, all of it, physics, English, mathematics, all of it. And then you have a look at it. It's very frustrating. That how much of it can you do? But then if you take it book by book, chapter by chapter, page by page, paragraph by paragraph, and line by line, believe me, it has a magical power. If you can practice this, you will not face difficulties and hardly if you ever face, then what you have to do is that, that you have to repeat the same practice of going to that line, then to another line, then to another line. It accumulates. We all come from Kashmir and we have the experience of how snow banks up, how snow accumulates. It is flake by flake that we have inches and then feet of snow. 
and then sometimes snow accumulates to the heights where even the houses collapse. And all that happens one flake after another flake. So likewise, you have to do it. One chapter, another chapter, one book, then another book and internalize it. So without frustrating yourself, calm down and implement this method in your studies. Don't rush through, uh, through it. I have an example of another uh, great uh, mind in language and literature, and that is Cory Stamper. Cory Stamper has written a book which, is, which rhymes with the earlier one. The name of the book is Word by Word. The earlier one was Bird by Bird, and this one is Word by Word. And she says, how do we do things when we pick up a word for a dictionary and then we have to assign meaning to it, find out what different shades of meanings it has and then put it together. What do we do it? She says that we work hard. How do they work hard? Before that, Lamott says that the uh, trick, the art of uh, you know, mastering writing is that you should know, you should learn how to sit at a place for hours together. If you can master this craft, this skill of sitting at a place and not getting bored for one hour, for two hours, even for a day, not asking for tea, not being very bothered about a friend coming to your place or a party happening at somewhere, but a focus on your own work. She says, she encapsulates it in a sentence. I wish you could remember this sentence, half a sentence. She says that she pictures herself when she uh, works. She says, it's like, Deep in the weeds of words, deep, remember it very well, deep in the weeds of words, hunched over your desk in bone crushing, head in hands concentration. I can see many uh, students, many of my friends working the same style and this is the style all the hardworking stu uh, students follow. So this way when she sits down on her table in her chair, what does she do? She plays with words. She internalizes the meaning and then she narrates the story. And she says that we had a conference at a university where many uh, you know, great masters of language had assembled and we shared our own experiences. She was excited about one of her experiences. And this experience was that at Collegiate English Dictionary, she was assigned to find out the meaning of the word run run is a simple word all of us know the meaning of it but when it comes to language it has hundreds of shades uh, leave aside the grammar part of it the way it is spoken the way it is used the way it's used in idioms it is used in phrases so it takes a lot to understand this word she says with a sense of uh, you know with an air of uh, pride to all others that you know how much time it took me to compile the meaning of uh, run. She says it took me one complete month of hard work from morning to evening. So she thought that everybody would be impressed and everybody was because everybody says you know, on the table said, wow, it's a great work that if it took you one month and you could you know, work so hard. And then she says that there was a very senior person, Peter, Peter Gilliver, associated with the Oxford English Dictionary. She says that Peter slowly moved his head up and said that, Cory, it took me nine months to compile the meaning of take, a very simple word. And then Cory says that I then understood what does it mean by hard work. So it took that great person whose native language is English nine months to understand what a word take means. If I can ask you a question, how much does it take you to concentrate, to understand, to internalize and to apply some word of your Urdu language or of your English language? That can give you an idea how you need to study and how you need to study this pandemic has given you ample time earlier you would have to rush in the morning to go to school or to your to, uh, to tutorial or maybe to meet friends. This is the time when, you know, all the time under the sun is available to you. If you can't make use of this right now, you will regret it in the days to come, in the years ahead. So that is the way hard work is done. That is the way 
things are studied, when you take a picture from your album, concentrate the same way as these two persons from these two dictionaries, lexicographers, they did it. For that, what's needed? What's needed is that you have to stay in the lane. Don't look right and left. Just focus on one thing and work hard on that single thing. And mastery is something that, you know, earlier people would believe that there is a kind of people who are geniuses. They are the masters. Now the research shows that anybody, any ordinary person can push the limits because we have so much of knowledge, so much of information, so much of understanding available to us online, offline, with our friends, in books, that it doesn't, it only needs to sit down and work hard. So you can be the master of your subjects. You can be the future geniuses for all of us. Now, do these things. One, keep yourself away from all the disturbances. Forget that there is a pandemic. Forget that there are crises. Forget that people are suffering this time. This is your time. You utilize it for yourself. You are at an age and at the stage of your life where you have no responsibilities. Somebody else is taking care of you and, and the family is around you. So you have the time and you make use of it. So first thing is keep away yourself from all the disturbances. The second is that you discover a routine for yourself. These days, you know, people since are off their routine, off their schedule, it becomes difficult to have another routine. You cultivate that routine. When you are going to rise up, what you are going to do in the mornings, how you are going to take rest, how you are going to, you know, sort of entertain yourself or relax yourself and how much of reading you are going to do a day and how much of writing you are going to do, how you are going to memorize things and how you are going to understand it. Make sure unless you do that, things will turn out very difficult for you. That is true. And the third is identify your interest and a matching question for yourself from that album of pandemic. And the fourth is that you know, you have to match that picture with the contents of your syllabus because your focus right now is your own class, your own exams and the exams that you will face ahead. So mix the two so that one helps you in the other. These, the, these are the four crucial elements of your, uh, uh, you know, preparation for the future that you have to do. <clears throat> so three things, basically. One is methodical, Another is that you have to be very consistent. And third is that you have to be very passionate about things. Passion does wonders. Passion never lets you lower your guard. Passion never lets your interest down. And passion makes you meet the challenges. The greatest thing that you can achieve all these days and all these months, one doesn't know how much more time we'll have to spend in this pandemic. That is the art of self-study. Your education system or our education system coupled with this, you know, the mushrooming of tutorials has killed the very essence of, uh, of, of uh, essence of being a student. Student is one who does self-study and we have less number of students who resort to self-study. You, you, we have become habitual to get the notes prepared or the lectures delivered and then we, you know, stop at that. The learning begins with self-study. And this is the time when you have, when you have one, when you have time, then you are you know, free to take the book, to take the textbook or, the, uh, 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 or any other book that is written by some uh, reputed author and read it cover to cover, not once, not twice. Maybe you will have to read a book 10 times to understand that book. If you can cultivate this habit of, the habit of self-study, if you can cultivate this habit of understanding the book all by yourself and seldom you need the help of a teacher, believe me, you, are become a, you will become an institute or institution in yourself. You will become a dynamite. You will become so powerful that you, if you are thrown in any situation, you will find a solution to it. You will crack the problem, provided there is a strength of mind, provided that you inculcate the habits of discipline and hard work provided you find your focus and last but not the least actually the primarily which is primarily important that is you practice you practice it it's not maths alone that has to be practiced even literature is to be practiced as much you practice it will become flawless and it will become effortless 
the moment your hold on the subject becomes effortless, you consider yourself as the master of that subject. Moving ahead, <clears throat> this pandemic has taught us certain lessons. If you uh, just away from your own textbooks, if you look at the uh, general people, if our markets are shut, what is the alternative to it? We had to find one. If our schools are closed down, what is the alternative to it? We found it. If we are not going to the mosques, what is the alternative of connecting to a lot? If we cannot meet our relatives, so what is the way of staying connected? To everything that has got disrupted, mankind finds a solution. To all the problems that you will face in your life, prepare yourself in advance that there is always a solution. But just the art of finding the solution is the key, uh, key skill that you need to learn. Now you don't go to schools, but do you do study? Now you don't meet teachers, but you take lectures. Now you going to, uh, don't go to the market, but the grocery comes to your home. Now you go to, uh, don't go to the mosques or to various places of worship, but you are connected to your lot. You don't go to the offices, but nevertheless you work. There are, uh, you know, there are n number of such challenges that were, uh, that were thrown up by this pandemic, but we found one by one solution to all these problems. It means that no routine or no schedule is sacrosanct. It is not sacred. There are always alternatives and there are always better ways of doing things. This sense of improving things, this sense of finding out alternatives means that there is always that wheel of revolution moving in your minds. You don't become status coasters because that is one bad thing about a knowledge seeker. If he gets stuck, this habit of moving ahead, this habit of finding out new things, this habit of preparing yourself for new scenes and new, you know, new universes and new worlds, and having that courage to meet the, uh, meet the strange things, it makes you a scientist, basically. It makes you an explorer, basically. It makes you an entrepreneur, basically. Every stream of human activity is actually finding out what is unknown. And this pandemic has told us, this pandemic has given us this lesson that there are ways of finding out the alternative. An example for you, if on our own journey, we are confronted by a war, what do we do? There are a few options with us. One is that on finding the wall, we are very frustrated. We, we, are, we, are very, uh, we are very frustrated. There is an important message that I'm getting in WhatsApp group, Khurshid Saab and Umar. I'll take just half a minute responding to that message. Umar. Hello. Sure, sure, Umar. sure. Uh, I, I think I'll take over for that minute. Ah, you, you take it over because there is an important message from the office. You please take over. No sir, problem. No problem. Okay. Uh, so scholars, abhi, uh, jitni bhi baate hum sun rahe hai, uh, uh, Mahmood sahab se, uh, us, us ek ek baat mein aap dekho kitni kitni uh, knowledge hai aur kitni kitni learning se hamare liye. Uh, aap sab, uh, अभी जो जो भी ये बातें सुन रहे हैं मतलब आप देखिए सबसे पहली बात जो उन्होंने बोली कि हम इस दौरान पावर ऑफ सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन सेल्फ सेल्फ स्टडी का पावर हम देख सकते हैं मतलब आप ये देख लीजिए कि ऑनलाइन मीडियम से कितना कुछ सीख पाते हैं मतलब उतना कुछ नहीं होता बट जितना सेल्फ स्टडी से आप इंडिपेंडेंट हो जाएंगे पूरी लाइफ के लिए वो अभी वक्त है वो करने का या बहुत सारी चीजें मतलब स्ट्रक्चर में, में जो उन्होंने बातें बोली तो मैं एक तो आई थिंक जब तक वो वापस आएंगे मैं आप सब से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि आप क्वेश्चंस अपने आ, लिखते जाएं कि मतलब आपको लाइफ के बारे में कौन सी एक तो एक एक प्रॉब्लम आप लिख लीजिए जो आपको ए, अट, अटका रही है अभी इस दौरान इस पेंडेमिक के दौरान क्या आप कुछ करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं ख्वाहिश रख रहे हैं कोई रूटीन बनाने की कोई चीज करने की बट आप नहीं कर पा रहे तो आप अपना अपना एक सवाल सब सभी का मैं मैं सबका मैंने जैसे बोला है मैं सबकी ओर ध्यान रख रहा हूँ एक एक क्वेश्चन आप लिख लीजिए कौन कौन सी आपको अपनी जगह पे एक एक प्रॉब्लम आप लिख लीजिए जो जो आपको अटकाती है कहीं पे यू नो विच इज नॉट लेटिंग यू गो अहेड विद रूटीन जो आप बनाते हैं आप प्रोक्रेस्टिनेशन में ज्यादा चले जाते हैं 
आप बोलते हैं हमारे पास वक्त तो है बट उस वक्त का प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन नहीं कर पाते आप तो आप आ, मुझे ल, मैं आप सबको वही बोलूंगा कि एक एक करके आप सब क्वेश्चन लिखे आप सबको मैं थर्टी सेकेंड्स का टाइम देता हूँ थिंक ऑफ दैट वन प्रॉब्लम दैट यू थिंक इज मेजर अभी के टाइम पे इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद मनी इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद योर पेरेंट्स इट इज इट इज ऑल अबाउट यू अपने आप के साथ आपके साथ एज अ पर्सन क्या प्रॉब्लम आपको लगती है कौन सी चीज आपको डिफिकल्टी लग रही है इस पैंडमिक के दौरान क्या आप कोई चीज करना चाहते बट नहीं कर पाते रूटीन नहीं बना पाते सो राइट डाउन चैट बॉक्स में और मीन हम वर्बली भी अलाउ करेंगे अगर कोई कुछ बोलना चाहेगा जब तक मैं मुझसे वापस आएंगे तो हम तब तक वी कैन वी कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट but before that i think i think you should start writing your questions in the chat window matlab mujhe feeling aa rahi hai ki har kisi na मतलब सारे बड़े एंजॉय कर रहे हैं इस टाइम को उमर और बहुत जी जी उमर सो बाय द टाइम महमूद साहब जॉइन बाय द टाइम महमूद साहब जॉइन कैन आई टेक द लिबर्टी ऑफ स्पीकिंग फॉर 5 मिनट्स यस यस प्लीज प्लीज एब्सोल्युटली नाउ मेरा अब सब लोगों के साथ ये सवाल है कि महमूद साहब ने जिस बेहतरीन तरीके से ये बताने की कोशिश की कि हमें अपने इस वक्त का किस तरह इस्तेमाल करना चाहिए इस पर प्लीज सोच लीजिए कि हम किस तरह से इस वक्त का इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं क्योंकि ये जो उनने फरमाया कि दैट ये पेंडेमिक आज है कल कुछ और आ सकता है तो सबसे बड़ा है कि दैट हम किस तरह से अपने आप को इन हालात के लिए अडोप्ट करते हैं इस पर जरा सोच लीजिए महमूद साहब वापस आ गए हैं तो मैं वक्त नहीं उनका टाइम नहीं लूंगा प्लीज महमूद साहब थैंक यू now um, uh, you know most of the things already i have uh, talked about uh, i'll uh, just try to uh, you know um, uh, close it now uh, certain things that you have to do now one is that i said that you identify your question about the importance of question uh, you know remember it that uh, what einstein once said that if i am given uh, 60 minutes to solve a problem i'll spend 55 minutes in trying to figure out whether the question is right or not or then i'll take uh, the 5 minutes to answer that question the question that strikes you or the questions that strike you in this pandemic give some time to yourself and then then try to understand is this a valid question is this a relevant question is this a meaningful question and if i use my mind on this does it you know is it worth that so that is the first thing you have to uh, do and uh, uh, two things that you will have to one is that what we have to do and another is what you don't have to do first i'll tell you what you don't have to do that is uh, in this age of uh, you know in this digital age what has happened to us is that most of our time we waste on uh, you know online surfing this is like a drug addiction and uh, i don't know whether you know it or not the uh, this is called as attention industry and people and uh, you know corporate they are spending billions of dollars to keep you hooked to keep you busy on uh, you know uh, on online stuff you make a what is called as digital minimalism you take recourse to online always when it is ex- when it is extremely needed and when you download your stuff just the uh, you know put the lines off don't use it anymore that is one kurshi uh, sahab somebody is knocking at the door one second just one second hello wali ji salam jaise arshika ne question kiya hai so i would i think i think we can have more questions mujhe kuch log ne privately questions bheje hain आप प्लीज यू नो कीप इट जनरल एवरीवन को कर ऑप्शन चूज करके एवरीवन का हर क्वेश्चन कर लीजिए ताकि सब पढ़ पाए आपने क्वेश्चन क्या किया है सो so, आप आप सब अभी अपना अपना क्वेश्चन लिख सकते हैं राइट राइट क्वेश्चन अबाउट एनी थिंग तालिब फयाज ने uh, हाथ ऊपर किया तालिब आप अपना क्वेश्चन चैट बॉक्स में लिख लीजिए
हर्षिका और राबिया का क्वेश्चन आए हैं बहुत ही अच्छे क्वेश्चंस है मैं जवाब नहीं देना चाहूंगा वील की पिट और गेस्ट बट मीन वाइल जिसका भी सवाल है फर्दर सवाल आप चैट बॉक्स में लिख, लिखते जाए हमारे साथ जो अभी है स्कॉलर्स में से आबरू फयाज आईना आकिब भट आरिफ मैं जिनका नाम ले रहा हूँ मेक श्योर के आप सारी क्वेश्चन कर रहे हो तूफा मुश्ताक अजरा जान बाजिला इरशाद बिलाल अहमद तांतरे थिंक अबाउट क्वेश्चन जो आप अपने बारे में क्या आप कोई रूटीन क्यों नहीं बना पाते आप कोई चीज अकम्पलिश क्यों नहीं कर पाते इस टाइम इस टाइम के दौरान कौन सी चीज आपका ज्यादा वक्त लेती है किस चीज में आप अटक जाए जैसे बहुत सारी बातें बोली महमूद साहब ने और अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट उन्होंने बहुत ही खूबसूरत कहानी बोली अगर आप सबने वो ध्यान से सुनी होगी बहुत ही लर्निंग छुपी है उस पूरी कहानी में अगर आप उसमें ध्यान देंगे कि एक थॉट जो प्रवोक होता है एक वक्त पे वो इंसान की पूरी लाइफ बदल देता है तो जैसे लास्ट टाइम पे जब हमारा सेशन फयाज साहब के साथ था उन्होंने बोला कि यू कैन बी कॉल्ड अ फूल फॉर क्वेश्चनिंग वंस बट नॉट क्वेश्चनिंग एवरी टाइम तो आप अगर सवाल कर नहीं करेंगे यू आर गोइंग टू बी यू नो इन दैट जोन जहाँ पे आप हमेशा खुद के एक थॉट प्रोसेस में चले जाएंगे वेर यू आर नॉट एबल टू फिगर आउट के आगे कौन सा स्टेप लू क्या मैं सही हूँ क्या जो मैं कर रहा हूँ वो सही है कि गलत है सो so, इसलिए अभी हमारे पास क्वेश्चंस आ रहे हैं बहुत सारे बट मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा फिर से मुझे प्राइवेट में मैसेज ना भेजें पब्लिक ऑप्शन ये ना एवरीवन ऑप्शन चूज करके क्वेश्चंस कर लीजिए सो कीप राइटिंग क्वेश्चंस मीन वाइल वी हैव क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन वंस वंस महमूद साहब ज्वाइन बैक बट उससे पहले uh, खुर्शीद सर आपसे थोड़ा बात करना चाहते बिकॉज आप मुझे बहुत पता है कि आप लोगों ने उनका बहुत Enjoy किया था सेशन सो महमूद साहब बैक महमूद साहब जी सर प्लीज सो आई 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 फिनिश इन अ मिनट नाउ आई विल फिनिश इन अ मिनट एंड देन वी विल हैव द कन्वर्सेशन वन लास्ट थिंग एंड दैट वन इज दैट डिजिटल यू नो प्रैक्टिस डिजिटल मिनिमलिज्म डोंट यू मेक टू मच यूज ऑफ दिस कंप्यूटर्स और योर फोन रिसॉर्ट टू टेक्स्ट बुक्स एंड अदर बुक्स बाय ऑथेंटिक ऑथर्स यू नो the book can give you much compared to your online uh, on the online stuff one it takes too much of time second is that it is like a drug addiction you will have to guard yourself against that and you need to actually train yourself and if i can tell you that there are professionals now who impart training to other professionals on how to make minimal use of digital media Uh, so st- as students you must practice that because this is a greatest uh, you know um, uh, sort of uh, danger for all our students because this way they can waste time and they'll not even get the sense of wasting the time and one last thing is that you should always look for the examples the great person in your respective subjects and one of the great persons and one of the great scientists who recently died was stephen hawking Hawke. why uh, i talk about stephen hawking is that he has written a book which if you get time you must read sometime which is a compilation and the book is uh, you know titled as on the uh, shoulders of giants that book is a compilation of the works of five great scientists starting from copernic to uh, einstein and then you have kepler and uh, newton and uh, uh, galileo in that book he writes a very small preface to that book and at the end of the preface stephen hawking says that newton once said that if i could see farther it was by standing on the shoulders of giants stephen hawking improves it he says that maybe we can use the shoulders of giants to spring board and jump from there for your own subjects whatever you have chosen for your excellence for your expertise find out who are the greats in that subject and read them and make their shoulders as spring boards and jump from there maybe you can discover you can heave new paths and you can reach to new destinations and somebody somewhere sometime can be a great economist great mathematician a great biologist a great and impressive physicist and a great politician or an economist we are short of examples we are short of great men we are all you know almost all the people us and around us compared to the situation of mediocre if you have the time if you can internalize this crisis 
maybe some of you can be great people and you can guide us through the crisis, which are not just pan related to pandemic, but many more things on every count, this nation and this people and the, your families, they are steeped into challenges. They're steeped into problems. You have a great work at hand. You have a great task at hand and you have a huge challenge up ahead. If you can prepare right now, things will be easier for you and things will become easier for us also. I, you know, I, I can pray for you. I wish you all the luck and, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm always ready for you, whatever I can do for you in whatever small capacity. Thank you very much. Now, any questions, I welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. Mahmoud uh, sahab, bohot bohot zabardast baatein aapne boli. Main inse in fact khushi sahab bhi wohi bol rahe the, main bhi wohi bol raha tha ki ek ek baat pe agar focus kare to bohot hi you know life changing examples set ho sakti hai. Hamare paas bohot sare sawal aaye hain meanwhile. Umar, 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 can I have the liberty of asking the first question? Yes, 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 please, please. Okay. Now, uh, taking, uh, you know, the advantage of being the board member of KI and uh, brother yes. of yeah. Mahmoud Saab. I, my question, Mahmoud Saab, uh, probably from on behalf of all the students would be the kind of the bombardment that goes on our children from this internet and this mobile phones and all that. How is it possible for our young, these scholars, young kids, the problem with us is that we have classes are on Zoom. Uh, you know, the lessons are sent on WhatsApp. The notes are sent on WhatsApp. Now, in this situation, when a child is studying, he remains stuck with this mobile phone or this internet, internet all that. Now, in this situation, when a child is studying, he remains stuck with this mobile phone or this internet, internet, all that. Now, in this situation, when a child is studying, he remains stuck with this mobile phone or this internet, can you please tell us about, about this? Absolutely. You have, you, you have hit the nail on its head. This is something that worries me also, that when we take recourse to online methods in every form of it, how we can tell our children and our students that you, you, know, you need to make less and less use of this. I will suggest certain books by uh, Carl Newport, Carl, Carl Newton. He says that digital minimalism has to be learned. By digital minimalism, he says that, you know, um, one good phrase he uses that he says that you need to put a curfew on your phone. That means that maybe beyond this time, you will put it on a, uh, you know, off mode. You need to fix time for your online engagements. Whatever you download from your, uh, you know, uh, the online resource, then put the phone, then, then put your mobile or then put your uh, laptop on an uh, offline mode. That is one thing, the training part of it. The second is where the importance of the teacher comes. All of us, you, me, everybody, we must have uh, you know, realized these, these, there is a discussion going on that now maybe the role of the teacher can be replaced. I have a strong sense and strong belief in this, that if you take teacher off from the screen, you will be confronted by crisis. It is here that the role of the teacher comes into play. If you have all the material and all the stuff online, but your teacher can actually guide you what to take and what not to take and how to take. And for this, what I'll suggest as initial steps is that a workshop on digital minimalism. I think that is one crucial thing that we must think about and we must train our children how to make less and less use of uh, you know digital medium and how to take records to the books even if they are in the soft form but they are books then, and how to train themselves this is one important area of concern for all of us and by the day you know the 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 way the moment we start doing it we we'll learn also while doing it thank, thank you so much uh, for that response <clears throat> so we have questions. So a k karke my question later on. So first first question is from Arshika. Arshika is asking, sir. Actually, I don't know why. Whenever I feel confident and motivated towards anything like studying and all, but somehow it is like the future haunts like what is gonna be. How is it gonna be? So 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 her question is 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 actually this this thing only. Like she is more worried about. Uh, you know, future. Okay, we have we have lost Mahmoud Sahib one more time. Just just uh, wait, Archika. I'll just take your question one more time. Yeah. 
सो मैम सब आई वुड आई वुड रीड दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन इट इज फ्रॉम अर्शिका अर्शिका का ये बोल रही है सर एक्चुअली आई डोंट नो व्हाई व्हेन एवर आई फील कॉन्फिडेंट एंड मोटिवेटेड टुवर्ड्स एनीथिंग लाइक स्टडीइंग एंड ऑल बट समहाउ इट इज लाइक द फ्यूचर हॉन्ट्स लाइक व्हाट इज गोना बी हाउ इज इट गोना बी सो दैट इज हर क्वेश्चन नहीं नहीं ड्रॉप योर फेयर्स एले योर फेयर्स यू यू नो व्हेन यू आर वर्किंग ऑन एनीथिंग टेक दैट मोमेंट एज द ओनली मोमेंट डोंट थिंक अबाउट डोंट थिंक अ ईयर अहेड your task is at your hand concentrate on that very moment what happens this happens to everybody but once you train yourself to concentrate on the moment focus on the moment you will learn by and by how to you know uh, allay your fears how to drop your fears it is a little bit of concentration is a little bit of focus and little bit of belief in yourself that as you do the thing you will solve the problem so um, it has more to do with your mental status come out of it or maybe at that time you can stand up and take a walk maybe you you can have a glass of water maybe you can have a short chat with somebody make maybe you can read some motivational stuff but don't lose the focus be there stay there you will solve the problem and don't allow your mind to be haunted by these thoughts one great training you have to uh, acquire all this while is that you should study with a very light with a very free with a very calm and with a very gentle mind and if you have still problems then you must uh, you know uh, try to find out in your proximity somebody who can mentor you mentors are very important there is a prayer by uh, um, a great um, you know uh, master of language and uh, she says that if i have one prayer for my uh, student it is one good teacher try to find out who is that one good teacher or one good mentor around you from many of the teachers from many of the relatives or elders and then talk to him or talk to her wonderful so we have another question from rabia assalam alaikum sir my question is that i'm not able to follow a constant routine as if i follow a routine i get fed up after some days uh is again almost the same question pehle wala ek wala ek assalam what you have to do is hard work is work. first the first thing that you have to prepare yourself for is that it is difficult you have to endure that difficulty if you can uh, if you can take a challenge for yourself that for 7 days you are going to utilize most of your time reading books even if you don't understand anything but take it a challenge that you will rest in your room and you will read it take it a challenge like you know somebody who labors all the day sometimes he is not interested in his work he is very bored he is very frightened but still he keeps on working you keep on doing don't snap don't disrupt yourself you keep on doing it press on your mind that something has to be done and as you go on doing it it becomes very effortless you know the if if i have to answer this question in one word it is practice you practice it and practice makes wonders always practice it don't fear just practice thank you uh abdul basit is asking a question sir i prepare time table but sir i can't follow it properly when i open books hardly i study only one hour then i fall sleepy sir what steps i must uh, i should take by by which i can follow time table properly one of the very uh, you know um, simple method of following a time table is that uh, uh, when you go to bed when you sleep uh, take an assessment of how much of it you have actually followed write it down in percentages and follow this routine for 7 days or maybe 10 days then compare your performance if your performance is going up you will get you know uh, 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 it will be a, a sort of encouraging note if it goes down it should worry you and you must find out the reasons for it there must be some reason one of the reason is that when you read a book you actually don't understand it ask some help for some from someone why you are not where is actually that difficulty where you are not understanding why it is not a joyful reading for you and it again comes to the same point you will have to practice it again if you fail 100 times you will have to make the attempt another time if you fail million times you will have to make attempt another time you don't have to cease you have to be very relentless in this and it is not only you with you it happens it happens with most of the people there are hardly any people who stick to a time table but if you fail 
make another attempt. You again fail, make another attempt. As long as you keep on attempting, failure does not matter. So you keep on attempting and specifically tell me or tell your teacher or your mentor, what is the reason that you don't find yourself interested in reading the book? There must be some specific reason. Either you are not understanding it or you have some other thoughts in your minds or maybe you have some fears. If we can identify them, maybe we can address them also. So thank you. We had, uh, I think, 12 or 13 questions which were actually ranging on the same thought. I'm actually not taking it because I think unsabko answer mil gaya. So we have a question from Shumail uh, John. Sir, in this time of pandemic, whenever we try to concentrate on anything, would it be uh, studies or anything else? I always think that what will be our future? How can we uh, ignore this thing? One very simple thing of ignoring is don't think about the future. Think about yourself. You know, uh, uh, in, in, in my talk, uh, when I said that somebody else is taking the responsibility right now. Your parents are taking the responsibility of the family. Your teachers are taking the responsibility of your uh, school. Uh, you know, you, the people around are taking the responsibility of the markets and the mosques. What is it that is on your shoulders except studying? Your, uh, you don't have to think about the future. You have to think about the present. If you live in present, if you make the most of this moment, actually you will address the fears of the future. It is, uh, you know, sometimes this becomes an excuse. It becomes an escape route. Block this route. Tell your mind, train your mind that if any such thoughts come to my mind, I'll shut my mind. I'll not allow these thoughts to come in, but I'll focus on this. But these thoughts will keep on you know, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, sort of invading your mind, but you will have to fight out consistently and you will have to make your, the, you know, the key point in your study is this, that unless it gives you joy, unless you find an interest in this, unless it becomes easy for you, unless you fall in love with it, you will not find your interest last longer. You discover your love in your books. You get attached to it. And the way you get attachment, uh, the, you know, attachment is cultivated by a prolonged association. Your prolonged association with books, your intent, you know, in, uh, you know your uh, passionate uh, involvement with the books. Unless you understand a line, you will not move ahead. You will read a line 100 times before you understand it. You will focus on a word. You will open up the dictionary. You will rummage through everything unless you understand it. You listen to somebody's video. You will call somebody, but you will have to understand it. And this habit of, you know, taking a stock of things after every day, write it down. What did you lose? What did you gain every day? What was it that you learned where you failed? And this assessment will actually propel you or actually prepare you for another day, then for another day. And slowly and gradually, you'll find that, uh, you know, sometimes it becomes, usually it is difficult to work. But when you become uh, habitual of work, it is very difficult not to work you have to come to that stage where it becomes difficult for you not to work, not to study, not to be with the book, but it needs hard work. Have patience, keep your focus and take help from your mentors and friends on that. Okay. So there is one question from Azra Jan, sir, how can we practice patience in reality? So these are all theoretical questions. Practicing patience is what? Patience is, that you have to uh, endure the difficulty. And uh, in, in case of students, one very short, uh, you know, uh, shortcut in this is that you, you inculcate the practice of reading books for hours together. Set a challenge for yourself that if today you uh, were on books for six hours, tomorrow you will be for seven hours. And in the first stage, even if you don't understand it, but just be there for some, make it a challenge for yourself that for seven long hours or for eight long hours, you have to be there. If you set a challenge for yourself, it will make it. If you make it a matter of personal pride, a personal achievement, you know, if it tags with your person, then it's not going to uh, leave you off the hook. You will find it out. And patience is what? Patience is nothing except hard work. Patience is nothing except endurance. Patience is that if it is, if it is difficult. I'll one day make it easy for myself. 
and patience is that such thoughts should not invade your mind as you sit there as you read as you be there as you spend more time on your book one day it will become easy the only matter is that you should stay there you should keep your uh, you know you should uh, you should learn the art of being in the chair or being uh, uh, you know um, on the floor for hours together practice makes you perfect practice makes it effortless and practice is actually the key for patience okay so nargis has written a question the things that halt me from making a routine are the distractions of fantasy as i used to be more in fantasies than in reality i'm not able to accept reality you you know the, this also is a fantasy that you are not able to accept the reality you have the courage to accept the uh, this reality uh, make a routine make a schedule and focus on that don't you know these all these almost all these questions amount to the same uh, same same thing it is lack of focus lack of concentration and Uh, the the uh, you know the less training for reading books unfortunately our teachers our schools don't focus on this that how they make students uh, uh, you know um, be in the company of books for longer hours i wish they, you know in uh, some of our classes are put off and uh, children or students are sent to libraries and there somebody keeps a watch just on this that whether they are with their books or with their mobiles stick to it it's not if you can identify it that i am uh, most of the time is with a fantasy that means there is a there is a sense or where you can differentiate reality and fantasy reality is reality you must face that and you will enjoy it you will find the thrill of it one day so rudba rashid has written sir i'm not able to read uh, from an ebook mm-hmm. i feel tired very easily what can be the cause of this thing Uh, cause is nothing cause is that uh, you are not used to read ebooks i was not one uh, at a, at one point in time i remember that when uh, computers were first introduced here <coughs> in our office we used to first write down on the paper and then tell somebody to type it and then we got used to it it is only a matter of time and it is only a, a matter of getting uh, you know uh, habitual of it is it is not a worry just uh, if if you want to train yourself just do one thing if you can't read 10 pages read 5 pages if you can't read 5 pages make a routine of reading 4 pages slowly and gradually you will increase your stamina and you will get used to it it's a matter of practice nothing uh, so special about it and then you will enjoy reading it and you you know what are the benefits of e reading <clears throat> one is that there is less clutter second is that you can uh, underline portions you can highlight the portion you can easily and quickly get to the uh, underlined or the highlighted portion you can find the meaning of the words you can keep your notes on that so e book is a real good help once you discover it absolutely so there is there is so we have a lot of questions and yes try, yes, try to find out try to find out what uh, you know on a technical part uh, what is the resolution of your uh, screen what color do you use what kind of a background do you use is does it uh, irritate your eyes if i believe there is no problem with that but even then you must check that yeah i hope that answers your question so we have one more question um, i never feel confident i always get nervous how can i change myself to make myself more confident mm-hmm. confidence comes through practice everybody you you have <laughs> great speakers great speakers who were so nervous in the beginning that they thought that they cannot even speak a sentence in front of a uh, of an audience but then they did it and slowly and gradually with time they became the masters of it practice only my 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 dear students this word practice don't take it ordinarily don't take it lightly practice is something that you know every master of any discipline is when you i'll give you a story here i i think i have uh, repeated it many a time in my workshops that there was a student who wanted to learn the uh, art of understanding the jumps he wanted to you know have this business of jumps he went to a master and when he went to the master and master promised him that i'll teach you how you can identify jumps of various qualities and how you can identify uh, you know uh, different things uh, that are related to jumps this man says that on the first day when i went to that master he gave me a stone 
a piece and uh, asked me to keep it in my hand. And after I kept in my hand, the master was busy with his own work. I could find that for all the day, he didn't even turn a gaze towards me. I thought that he has forgotten that, uh, uh, an, uh, that an apprentice is here. And in the evening, when he closed the shop, I dropped that piece uh, there and uh, went home. Second day I came and he did the same thing. He put the same stone or whatever that was in my hand and asked me to be there. And then he was busy with his own work. On third or fourth or fifth or sixth day, the uh, student decided that today I'll ask my master that I'm not coming here to waste my time. You, you, you hand over a piece of stone to me and then for the entire day you do, uh, you do your own work. What's this? I'll raise this question. On that day, when the master gave him that piece, another piece of stone, the student suddenly said that, Master, this is not a gem. I don't think this is a gem. And master answered back, my dear student, that means these six days have not gone waste. You have learned the art of identifying a gem from a stone. The fact that that student stood there for six days with that stone in his hands, and he got a sense of it, he got a feel of it, made him a master of gems. That is the exact thing that you have to do. You have to, you know, prepare yourself for this challenge, to stick to a thing for a month, for a year, for 15 days, for a week's time. If you can't take that much of a trouble, how can you succeed in your life? You know, take all the other thoughts, all these distractions off from your mind and focus on this one thing. Initially, it will be difficult, but with time, things will ease out. Yeah. Uh, so we have a question from Mehak. I, I have, uh, so for all the scholars, Junko lagta ho ka shayad mein unke sawal nahi le rao. But agar aap dekhenge, uh, Mahmood sir, har un sawal unka lam sum karke jawab de raha hai. Mujhe ho lag raha hai, wo same form ke response de un sab ke. That is why I'm trying to take the questions jinke jawab nahi aaye. So, one last question is, abhi ka, Sir, how can we eradicate the procrastination from our life? You know, this is the same question. This habit of delaying, this habit of putting the things for another day is lack of interest. You can do it. Uh, the simple way of doing it is that make a resolve that today I'll have to finish the work. Just make a resolve and make it a matter of your personal pride. Make it a matter of your personal, uh, you know, of performance, of achievement. If you can't do it in that day, just try to feel that shame of not doing it. Just try to feel that regret of not having done it. And wasting your uh, skill, wasting your time, and wasting your capability of having that done. It, these are all psychological issues. These are all issues of uh, not having an interest in a thing. These are all issues of not being mentored very well, very properly. Uh, these things, I believe, uh, if we could have some, uh, you know, face-to-face -face interaction someday and we can have a workshop for three days or seven days, I think all these things can be addressed when you do a very, uh, you know, a structured way of addressing these questions. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we have uh, one scholar, Talib Fayaz. He wants to ask this question uh, verbally. Talib, aap unmute kar lije. So uh, aap sawal pooch lije. Go ahead, Talib. <clears throat> Talib, aap unmute kar lije, Hanji. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum assalam. Sir, uh, actually my question is complicated. Whenever I try to ask it uh, to somebody, I never got a relevant answer. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, actually I'll uh, try my best to make it simpler. Right. Sir, jabbi hum जब भी हमें कोई हमसे कहता है कि कुछ करो या कुछ ना करो, so mostly हम the reason which is behind that is कि हम वो चीज force की वजह से कर रहे हैं। Sir, actually जैसे कि for example कोई कह रहा है कि procrastination छोड़ो, social media छोड़ो, smoking छोड़ो या moving on to the do's सुबह सवेरे उठो, studies करो या etc तो एक्चुअली होता क्या है सर कि इन चीजों इन चीजों के लिए हमारे लिए कोई इंट्रेंसिक अर्ज नहीं होती 
Am I able to explain my yeah, question? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I could understand it. I could understand it. Sir, actually, ऐसा क्यों है कि हम कोई चीज फोर उसकी वजह से करें? क्या ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि उसके लिए it should be something uh, like love. We love that. तो जब भी हम पढ़ने बैठे तो या तो माँ बाप के प्रेशर है माँ बाप के लिए करना है और इट इज द नीड ऑफ द आर ऐसा नहीं करोगे तो फेल हो जाओगे तो जब भी होता है तो फोर्स की वजह से तो इसलिए हम कर नहीं पाते तो होता क्या है कि हम इन चीजों को हम डील नहीं कर पाते तो ऐसा क्या कर सकते हैं सर कि हमारे अंदर उस चीज का लव पैदा हो या हम कह सकते हैं कि इंट्रेंसिकली हम उसके लिए अटैच हो जाए तो हम जब भी किसी पर्टिकुलर काम के लिए बैठते हैं वो करना हो या ना करना हो तो हम नहीं कर पाते your in unless you cultivate an interest yourself as you yourself said that unless you cultivate an interest unless you discover a joy in in whatever you do your interest cannot be lasting it cannot be uh, you know it cannot be productive force ki wajah se jo aap keh rahe hain na ki koi bahar se humko keh raha hai ki aisa kijiye koi teacher keh raha hai bada bhai keh raha hai koi dost keh raha hai koi bhi keh raha hai force ki wajah se aaj tak koi bhi cheez asal mein hui nahi jab tak if if you can't intern i was uh, you know emphasizing on these words if you can't internalize it if you can't feel joy in it if you can't feel pride in it if you can't find involvement in it if you can't make it a habit tab tak ye sari cheeze nahi hote but how do you discover that joy that is the question joy kahan se aati hai joy asal mein aa jati hai is cheez se jab aap kisi cheez jo bhi aapke liye deserving pehle to identify kijiye na first when i said that there is an album you first find out the picture that interests you how do how would you interest it how would you how would this picture interest you unless you have a look at it jab tak aap kisi tasveer ko dekhenge nahi tab tak koi tasveer aapko interest nahi karti aap agar ye samajhte hain na ki koi cheez aapko khud interest nahi kar rahi aapki apni dilchaspi isme nahi hai aap usme khud khush nahi hai wo isliye hai ki aap kisi cheez par apni nazar jamate nahi आप किसी भी कोई दूसरा जो कहे उसको तो एक साइड पर रख लीजिए आप खुद कभी देख लीजिए जितनी सारी चीजें हैं उनमें से आपकी नजर किस पर जमती है पहले उस चीज को देखिए जब जमेगी नजर तब खुद ब खुद उसमें से आपको जॉय डिराइव होगी और उसके बाद ये सारा रेलिवेंट बनेगा जो भी आपसे कहेगा कि इसके लिए मेहनत करे इसके लिए पढ़े इसके लिए शेड्यूल बनाए लेकिन पहले अपनी जॉय को डिस्कवर कीजिए लेकिन जॉय डिस्कवर करने के लिए आंखें खोलना जरूरी होता है दुनिया में जो कोई भी चीजें हैं मैं आपसे हजार बार कहूं कि ये एक खूबसूरत मंजर है मैं आपसे कितनी बार कहूं कि इस चीज में बहुत सारी दिलचस्पी होनी चाहिए जब तक आप खुद अपने दिमाग की आंखें नहीं खोलेंगे ये आपको कर कोई दूसरा आपसे नहीं करवा सकता है और आप कब करेंगे आप तब करेंगे जब आपको लगे कि ये आपके लिए अहम है बस अपनी जिंदगी में एक चीज को एक चीज की तलाश कीजिए कि आपके लिए क्या अहम है ये मैं आपको नहीं बताऊंगा ये कोई टीचर आपको फिर आपको टीचर ये बताएगा कि इस अहम चीज को हासिल करने के लिए आपको क्या करना है लेकिन वो अहम चीज क्या है वो आपको खुद ढूंढनी पड़ेगी उसके लिए आपको खुद खड़ा होना पड़ेगा जब तक आपकी ये पर्सनल डिस्कवरी नहीं बनेगी पर्सनल जर्नी नहीं बनेगी कोई कुछ भी मदद आपकी नहीं कर सकता है तो आपका आपका जो ये सवाल है ना देर इज एन आंसर टू इट इन सर एक्चुअली इट इज एन आंसर इट्स नॉट ए क्वेश्चन दैट something which somebody wants you to do externally or with force doesn't work it only works when you internalize it and you find this is something that you actually want to do so you will have to do it for yourself nobody else can help you aap khud khada ho jaye if you can ask this question you have identified a question that mean there is an answer to it you find that answer others can chip in others can help you thank you so i i hope talib aapko uh, answer mil gaya Uh, so we have uh, i think we, this will be our last question for today's session because bahut sare sawal aane so main sab scholars se request karunga ki jitne bhi sawal hai please aap mujhe reach out kare main aapko email id deta hu mam sir ka ya aap mujhe bhej dijiye hum unko mails mein respond kare but ek last question hai rabia ki taraf se 
राबिया आप ने जो क्वेश्चन लिखा है आप वर्बली वो पूछ सकते हैं आप अनम्यूट कर लीजिए खुद को और वर्बली आप पूछ लीजिए वो सवाल सर अस्सलाम वालेकुम सर मेरा ये क्वेश्चन है कि जो ऑनलाइन क्लासेस हैं आजकल मतलब प्रेशर होता है एंड द वन मोस्ट थिंग इज कि हम रूटीन इसलिए फॉलो नहीं कर पाते हैं क्योंकि ऑनलाइन क्लासेस का कोई स्केड्यूल प्रॉपरली नहीं है बिकॉज कब डिस्कनेक्ट कभी कभी डिस्कनेक्ट हो जाता है इवनिंग में होगा आफ्टरनून में होगा तो उस वजह से हमारा रूटीन डिस्टर्ब हो जाता है एंड उस वजह से यू नो बहुत ज्यादा प्रेशर आ गया एंड अब अभी कभी जब मेरे साथ मेरे पेरेंट्स बात करते हैं तो मैं बहुत ज्यादा वियर्ड मतलब मेरा बिहेवियर होता है बिकॉज uh, जो ऑनलाइन क्लास की वजह से प्रेशर आ गया बिकॉज अभी उतना सिलेबस भी कंप्लीट नहीं है तो सर इस यही यही बात मैं बोलना चाहती हूँ कि मतलब इस मतलब इस दौर में हम क्या करें लाइक यू नो सेल्फ स्टडीज भी करनी है लाइक आई एम इंटरेस्ट इन नॉवेल्स वो भी पढ़ना है कोई यू you नो know, uh, शोक है उसको भी पूरा करना है फैमिली का भी ख्याल रखना है सो वी आर यू नो हम बहुत सारी चीजों से गिरे हुए हैं सो so, सर ये बताइए कि हम इन सब चीजों को कैसे मतलब परफेक्ट मैनर में हम कंट्रोल कर पाए ये जो क्वेश्चन दैट यू आस्क्ड अबाउट द डिसरप्शन इन ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इट इज अ प्रैक्टिकल प्रॉब्लम अनलेस इट इज सॉल्व यू विल हैव टू फेस इट दैट्स वन सेकंड इज दैट इस डिसरप्शन में दैट यू डोंट बिहेव इन अ वियर्ड मैनर दैट यू दैट यू नो यू आर नॉट वर्कड अप बाय दिस दैट योर माइंड डजंट बॉक डाउन उसके लिए मैं आपको आई आई हैव सम सजेशंस फॉर यू वन इज दैट एट द मोस्ट दीस क्लासेस इफ दे स्टार्ट इन द मॉर्निंग एट 10 At the most, then finish by four. उससे ज़्यादा तो नहीं जाएंगे ना दस से चार तक ही बीच में डिस्ट्रप्शन हो सकती है यू टेक इट फॉर ग्रांटेड दैट माई क्लास इज बिल्यू फ्रॉम टेन टू फोर ये टाइम मेरे पास है नहीं इसमें अगर कोई वक्त बच जाता है तो बोनस है आपके लिए बाकी जो आपका वक्त है चार बजे के बाद और दस बजे से पहले आप उस पर कैलकुलेट करके आपका टाइम जो भी शेड्यूल है वो बना लीजिए इस दस दस से चार तक को छोड़ दीजिए उसमें भी आप क्या कर सकते हैं प्रायोरिटाइज कर दीजिए जो भी आपके प्रायोरिटी एरिया है उसके लिए जो आपको दो या तीन घंटे या चार घंटे चाहिए वो आप फिक्स कीजिए वो टाइम जब ना कोई ऑनलाइन क्लासेस है ना कोई डिस्ट्रैक्शन है वो अर्ली मॉर्निंग भी हो सकता है वो लेट नाइट भी हो सकता है अगर इफ यू आर एबल टू यू नो गेट दो थ्री आर फोर आवर्स फॉर यूर प्रिफर्ड सब्जेक्ट फॉर यूर प्रायोरिटीज एटलीस्ट यूर माइंड विल बी एट रेस्ट कि जो मुझे मेरे लिए सबसे ज्यादा अहम चीज है वो मैं इन चौबीस घंटों में कर चुकी हूँ अब अगर कोई डिस्टरप्शन होती भी है इट विल नॉट इट विल हैव अ मार्जिनल और अ वेरी लेस इफेक्ट ऑन माय स्टडी वो चार घंटे अपने लिए फिक्स कीजिए मे बी दैट कैन हेल्प बाकी ये सारी जो डिफिकल्टीज है वो बाय एंड बाय अभी हम इट इज जस्ट अ बिगिनिंग फॉर आर ऑनलाइन यू नो क्लासेज एंड ऑनलाइन टीचिंग इसमें ये सारी चीजें शॉर्ट आउट भी हो जाएंगी सो दीज आर दी इनिशियल हिकअप वो भी दूर हो जाएंगे लेकिन यू फाइंड आउट दैट फोर आवर्स for yourself early morning or late night and then take the rest as bonus thank you so much i uh, i think hamare uh, abhi aaj ke sawal abhi majorly humne sab cover kiye uh, thank you so much scholars and uh, aapko aaj kaisa laga uh, aap sab shayad aaj tak mujhe bhul dete hain hum aapse seekhte seekhte to aaj aap ko maine unse milaya jinse main seekhta hu main seekhte aaya hu bachpan se जब 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 मैं बड़ा हूँ मैं महमूद साहब के सामने बड़ा हुआ हूँ जो मेरी ग्रोथ हुई है बट ये चीजें है कि आ, हाँ मतलब लाइफ का जर्नी फॉलो करने के लिए ये थॉट्स जो इन्होंने बताए अपनी अपनी जगह पे जितना भी हो आप इन चीजों पे अमल करने की कोशिश करें छोटी छोटी कैपेसिटी में ये सारे पर्सनल थॉट्स है जिसमें आपको फादर मदर ब्रदर सिस्टर किसी भी इन्फ्लुएंसर की सजेशन लेने की जरूरत नहीं है दीज आर ऑल ऑल थिंग्स जो आप पर्सनल लेवल पे आ, अपनी लाइफ में इम्बाइब कर सकते हैं अडेप्ट कर सकते हैं सो so, आपको आज का सेशन कैसा लगा अपने चैट बॉक्स में लिख लीजिए टेल हिम यू नो हाउ यू फील अबाउट टूडे सेशन वो आपके चैट्स पढ़ रहे हैं एंड मीन वाइल हमारे साथ बेसिकली यूनुस साहब है उन्होंने बीच में ही वॉज एक्चुअली बिजी बट देन आई टोल्ड हिम अबाउट ही वॉज लाइक मई मैं किसी भी हाल में अटेंड कर लूंगा ही एक्चुअली मिस्ड इन बिटवीन जस्ट बिकॉज ही वॉज ऑक्यूपाइड एट द ऑफिस आई वुड नॉट वॉन्ट हिम टू से एनीथिंग बट जस्ट जितना भी उन्होंने आज अटेंड किया आप प्लीज यूनुस सर यू नो जस्ट जस्ट शेयर कपल ऑफ थॉट्स एंड 
and uh, mahmud bhai i wanted to mention yun sab is one of our board members from us so uh, he is attending from us uh, right now thank you uh, these are the you can unmute yourself i think yun sab ka unmuted nahi hai but meanwhile tab tak uh, you uh, khurshid sir wanted to men- say a couple of things khurshid sir please uh, unmute yourself uh yeah aapke liye mam sir bahut sari chat box mein aap please dekh lijiye scholars are writing things for you uh, they would definitely want your response on that um, and then this is I their feeling a, about today's session a very a very big and huge thank you to all of them but i'll be happier if uh, actually they uh, focus on their study the day i hear that uh, these students who have been part of this session have improved their skills of studying have, are now giving more time to their studies and now have uh, you know resolved to perform i'll be happy no end you know these are all our children and when they were asking these questions it means that uh, uh, you know it disturbs them if they cannot focus it disturbs them if there are some uh, you know some scary or some uh, disruptive thoughts that means they actually want to study and one of the things that uh, i mentioned last uh, i'll just uh, elaborate it uh, you you should listen to uh, the talks of the great people who overcame difficulties because that motivates you that inspires you you'll find people who have been you know who have faced immense difficulties and the chances of them excelling in any field were not just marginal or slim there were absolutely no chances but they made it to top uh, all because they generated an interest in themselves they were very passionate about their work and they set a target for themselves and then never never took their gaze off those are the things that you will have to inculcate in yourself and everything and anything is possible for you you are as good as einstein was your brain is as sharp and all as brilliant as any scientist or as any um, uh, you know person of literature uh, has uh, it is brain but the only question is that you will have to unfold your skills you will have to unfold your own uh, capabilities and capacities uh, don't do injustice to yourself basically primarily and uh, you know the sare log jitne bhi sawal puchte the na एक काम और भी कीजिए जो आपके पेरेंट्स हैं ना वो आपके बारे में कितनी उम्मीदें रखते हैं उसको जरा पिक्चर कीजिए और जब भी आप डिसइंटरेस्टेड हो जाए जब भी कोई और थॉट आ जाए उस पिक्चर को आपने सामने लाने की कोशिश की ये कोई एक्सटर्नल फोर्स नहीं है बल्कि एक मोटिवेशन होगी या सो बेसिकली यूनुसाब इज ऑन कॉल उन्होंने मैसेज किया बट उन्होंने चैट में लिखा है excellent session great insight thank you very much mahmud sahab the, these are life lessons for all of us to remember and refresh consistently uh, so i i definitely wanted him to have call but but unfortunately he cannot so today's session uh, i mean i would like to mention that we wanted to have this session so that you get an idea about these kids i mean all, all these scholars are meritorious uh, ones they they are very smart they are just stuck with with the common problems that that we all kashmiris go through i think today's session will definitely you know ease up and smoothen their their future course of action and apart from that we would definitely request you to um, you know avail yourself with you know whenever it is possible for future sessions as well and in fact after lockdown uh, we will definitely want you for for a physical okay. interaction as well we uh, are pleased to be a part of this exercise definitely definitely so thank you so much for today and uh, uh, meanwhile main sabhi scholars ko ye bolna chahunga ki hum sab ki taraf se aap sab ko eid mubarak but before we before you are going to say thank you or whatever gratitude messages you are going to share uh, i would definitely uh, request uh, mamu sahab to pass on some uh, conclusion comments uh please mam so then we'll close the session for today and concluding comments mere uh, yahi honge ki uh, you know make books as your companions make books a part of your family don't sleep unless you have read some pages from some book make it a vow make it a promise with yourself you know take a pledge that unless i read a book some pages of a book every day 
I not sleep. And even if it is that I don't understand sometimes, I am fatigued, but still I'll keep, I'll make it a matter of my, my own habit. The day you fall in habit, you know, if you fall in love, people say even then the age of the thing is less. But if you fall in habit of certain things, you make it very permanent. And I wish you a very happy Eid, a very joyous Eid. Um, you share your joys with your family. And also, you make your family and your uh, you know, people around you a part of that joy that you will get once you achieve things. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All of you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank, thank you, you so for your much. Thank you so much, Mahmoud Afar, for today. Uh, we will definitely uh, want you to hear uh, the conclusion comments from all the scholars. So scholars, you have an option to unmute and thank you for saying But before that, we will give you a happy Eid Mubarak. Uh, okay. And uh, Yunus Sahib has written another thing that there is a lovely advice on the books. Uh, please, you know, they sent me a message to Please tell our scholars to review the habits of all the successful people and see how many books they read a year. So, uh, so this is an assignment for me. But apart from that, scholars, thank you so much. If you want to say anything, you can unmute and you can verbally say thank you. Bolna, kuch bhi bolna. Aur usi ke saath, you can leave the session and we'll close session in next one minute. Thank you so much, sir. Eid Mubarak. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm overwhelmed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you all. Thank you so much, uh, scholars, and thank you so much. Why we are going to close this session for thank today? You, thank and we you, will thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Salam alaikum.